my unboxing and welcome again for another segment of Pinoy unboxing and I would like to thank Fine Upgrades and Mr. Jeremy Laran for giving me a chance to unbox this one and this is the first sample that arrived here in the Philippines so it's a water cooling kit from Lark Cooler so this is their new water cooling kit so basically it's a kit with complete water block a pump with the reservoir the tubes and a 240 radiator and it also has support for Intel 2011 and 1155 or 1150 socket AMD, AM3, and FM2, FM1. So basically supports all processors. And here in the box we have some features. Here's the water block. The radiator can be mounted at the back. The parts. And basically everything you need for a basic water cooling kit. So Let's begin the unboxing. So once again, thank you, Fine Upgrades. I didn't really expect this one. I just received a message from Mr. Jeremy to unbox this one. And it's been an honor. And back to it. Here's the two beans. the box a very sturdy box just like the EK box so their cooler is now trying to compete within the cooling market so, so what's inside so we got a free funnel some instruct instruction manuals. Uh, very easy steps to follow. And here's the 240 radiator. So what's good about this one is Lark Cooler is trying or adapting now the G1 fourth thread. So you could upgrade to any uh, any fittings that is G14. So I have an example here. Uh, these are Bits Power fittings. So this is a fitting from Bits Power. So you could fit it here. So it, it's a standard now, so you could upgrade from this 3 a uh, one half tube to a 3.8-5.8 tubing. So you could also fit here a 90 deg and 45 deg. Which also Lark Cooler has. So this is there. 45 degree which you could buy separately if you like to upgrade this kit so basically 
For example, if you place it on top or in front, that you need a curve. So you can easily place it that way. That's a 45 degree. <laughs> so we have a lot here from the flight cooler. So we have here a T block. So this is for the radiator. And the radiator can comes with a fan. These are good enough fans for the radiator. Basically, you could upgrade to any aftermarket fans. Uh, you have here your fan grills. Let me just put that aside. And here, this is the water block for the CPU. We have here all the screws, the tools. So we have here the barb since the water block has barbs on it. Okay, to continue. So we have here all the stops that we needed to mount your radiator. If you're going to place it at the back, some screws. And the barb, this one, this this is the one that is used to tighten the, up the barbs and the wires. So everything this need to this needed to mount your radiator, the fans, and your pump and reservoir. So. Here's the back plate. We'll be placing it that way for AMD. And if not for AMD, you could remove this one using the hex screws and use this one for AMD so my bad if I said universal this is for the AMD and this is for Intel so this will be your back plate to place behind your motherboard and here is the block very nice looking block so it's nickel the nickel plated it's not the copper and you could remove this one and change this with a compression fitting since this is a barb fitting. So let me go on and try that one. So you have this tool that comes with the box. So you could remove easily. things that you would rather want to be changed. So I'm trying to remove one. So here I will show you that you could remove the barb and change it with a compression fitting so it just fits perfectly so you could basically upgrade to a bigger tubing like this one so let's put it back and so these are the, all the screws and right here is your pump with a rest. So basically this rest and pump is very good for 
a starter kit or for basics because you could just uh, for example in this one you could just place it uh, if there's no radiator here you could place it that way for easy access or easy cable routing or tube routing rather so here these are the barbs you could also change this with those compression fittings and this is the pump here it looks like a NPC 655 so it's a powerful powerful pump here so made by their cooler okay this pump also has here uh, what do you call this one um, to maximize the flow of your pump or minimize so this would be your flow rate I guess just a switch connected to this 4 pin connector so basically you could go full throttle or a little bit slower depends on what you're doing on your system if you're overclocking or not to lower down the temperatures so here we have here a blue I think a lead to illuminate this acrylic reservoir so basically this is much the pump and the reservoir and we have here a coolant so this is a blue cool coolant which is composed of water and propylene glycol so this is a formula to remove gunk or any forming Forming what you call that one algae inside the water. So this is 500 ml coolant. So basically, you just put it inside and it's ready to go. And that's pretty much it inside the box. So thank you for watching the unboxing and. Thank you also again, uh, Mr. Jeremy Laran of Fine Upgrades for sending a sample of this large color water cooling kit. So, thank you again. This is Lord Zen of Terabyte Mods. And don't forget to like the page of Pinoy Unboxing. Please do support Pinoy Unboxing. And also, please visit our site and watch more unboxings that is purely Pinoy. So thank you and bye bye.